Welcome to the video on logarithmic word problems. So in this video, we are going to be talking about a bunch of various formulas that you'll be using when you solve broad word problems using logarithms, and then we'll do a word problem together. So the first one we have is compound interest, and the formula is A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT. So there's a lot of variables in these formulas, so we're going to break it down. So the first one is T. And the T is the time. The time you're going to compound the money. So let's say you put a money, some, let's say you put $100 in the bank. The time would be how long you leave it in the bank. All right? So now the N appears twice in the formula. And the N is how many times that the money is being compounded per year. So compounded means that the uh, amount of interest is added to the value that you put. So if you put $100 and you put it at a rate of 10%, then that means that every time it's compounded, 10% of the money you have will be added to the money. So let, let's say you start out with $100, right? First time it's compounded, you'll have $110. The second time it's compounded, that $110 will be taken to 10% and then added to it. So basically your money kind of grows exponentially. So the N is how many times compounded per year. And the R is rate. The P is principal or starting amount. And the A is the final amount. All right, so that's compound interest. Now let's talk about exponential growth and decay. Both of the formulas are very, very similar. So I'm going to go be going over the growth formula, and then I'll explain the decay formula. So A is equal to P times 1 plus R to the T. So all of the variables are the same as compound interest. We have time. We have rate. We have principal, and we have amount. And the only difference between exponential growth and exponential decay is that in decay, instead of 1 plus r, it would be 1 minus r. And that's the only difference. So since compound interest kind of is a form of exponential growth, the formula, as you can see, is very, very similar to the one of exponential growth. So now we have doubling growth. And doubling growth is basically when your amount doubles every set period of time. So let's say that you go to work and they pay you a penny on your first day. And they say that they'll double the amount every single day you come to work. So you go to work, the first day you get a penny, the second day you get two pennies, third day you get four pennies, the fourth day you get eight pennies, and it just keeps increasing and increasing exponentially. And within 30 days, you'll be super rich and probably that company will go bankrupt right now. So the formula for doubling growth is n is equal to n0 times 2 to the t over d. So let's break it down. n is the final amount that you'll have. n0 is the starting pay, like the one penny. The T is time. And D is the um, how often that the amount is doubled. So if it's every day, every week, twice a week, three times a year, um, how many times doubled? And now we have the half-life decay, which is very, very similar to the doubling growth, except it's the opposite. It's basically doubling decay, doubling decreasing. And this is used a lot in chemistry because a lot of the radioactive elements in chemistry have half-lives, and that's how they calculate how fast that radioactive element decays. So the formula for that is n is equal to n0 times one half to the t over h. And everything is the same as the previous. So n0 
and T. The only difference is the H and the one half. The H is the half life. So if you have you know, some element, for example, carbon 14, they'll give you a half life of carbon 14, and you basically plug that number in to find whatever you need to find. So let's do this word problem here. How long will it take a thousand dollar investment to triple in value if it is invested at a rate of 12% compounded quarterly? So we're going to be using the compound interest formula right there. So let's fill in the variables with the information that we have. So how long will it take a thousand dollar investment? So that's going to be our principal, a thousand, to triple in value. So because it's tripling, I'm using a different color. Because it's tripling in value, that means you want to end up with $3,000. And that's equal to 1, 1 plus R, which is the 12%, and it's at, expressed as a decimal, not a 12. Don't put 12 there. Put 0 0.12. And then it's compounded quarterly, which means four times a year, which means that your N is going to be 4. And... T is not giving because it's asking how long will it take. So we need to find T, and therefore we're going to leave it as the variable T. So let's first simplify this equation that we have. So we have 3,000 is equal to 1,000 times, well, 0 0.12 divided by 4 is equal to 0 0.03, and then 1 plus 0 0.03 is equal to 1.03. So we can just simplify that right there to the 4T. Now what we have to do is we're going to solve as a logarithmic equation. So the first thing we have to do is isolate the logarithmic, um, the exponential part of the equation. So we're going to divide each side by 1,000. So you get 3 is equal to 1.03 to the 4t. So now if we make this into a logarithm, log base 1.03 to the 3 is equal to 4t. Isolate the variable now by dividing by 4. Log base 1.03 of 3, which is approximately equal to 9.3. So therefore, it'll take approximately 9.3 years to triple your money from $1,000 to $3,000. And that's how you solve a logarithmic word problem.